I guess uh, it was a no-brainer to come inside today because of the weather. Yeah, it's, this morning I didn't know it smelled like electrical. You know, I was like, I was sitting in my office wondering what the smell was, and and uh, then they came in and told me that it was the, the wildfires is actually what that smell was. So we had to come inside, and I thought the guys responded well. Again, we can't get our double barrel, so it's tough to get, you know, as many reps, but we got through our script today and uh, and it was a good day. I was going to say, it's a lot different having a training camp practice in here compared to regular season. Right? Oh, With so yeah. Many guys, yeah, right? usually, usually you never come in here for training camp because you've got so many bodies and you worry about uh, practicing safely. But but uh, I thought overall today, I thought the guys did a real nice job. Day one in the pads, too. How did that go? What's that? Who makes that determination? What, 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 you know, who looks up and says, all right, yeah. The trainers. The trainers will come tell us what the air quality is, you know, and heat and all that kind of stuff. So all that's that's based off of the, the facts that they give us. And you're okay with that? There's determination. Like, yeah, we'll go by that. Oh yeah, I mean again, it's they've got certain uh, you know air quality standards that you know whether you're supposed to be inside or out. So we've got to adhere to those rules. Day one in the pads, uh, how'd it go? Yeah, I thought it was really good. I thought the guys again they practiced safely. They were aggressive, but not out of control. And and uh, that's three good ones back to back to back. So I'm proud of the efforts. How many padded practices are you allowed during training? Uh, you know what? We never even get to. I think it's like ten or something like that. You know we. We uh, pretty much just, you know, we know what we're going to get. We're going to get a couple of times to pop. You know, we we got once with the uh, with the uh, rookies the other day. Now once with the veterans, and now in just a couple of days we're playing a real game. So you can't just, you know, hit them and hit them and hit them. You know, uh, in today's world. So yeah. we'll get we'll get what we need done. Chris, uh, I know we're, we're just just started starting camp, but uh, maybe talk a little bit about a couple of the guys that you brought in middle of last season. And now you're going to see a full season on Kevin Brown, Dylan Mitchell. What, what, what do you expect from what you saw tail end last year? Yeah, I mean, they both, they came back. And again, uh, I thought uh, I thought our little running back, KB, I thought he did a real nice job today in the run game. He busted out two of them. He doesn't need but a crease. You give him a crease, he's got that in, innate ability to get through the hole and get into the secondary. D. Mitch is in tremendous shape. Uh, you've, you've seen him, I mean, he averaged 18 yards, I think it was, or 16 yards a catch last year, and uh, we fully expect the same thing this year. What do you think of the receiving game, bringing in Lewis, having Mitchell for a full season? How much has that receiving game improved for you? Well, I mean, we've got some good players there at the receiver position, there's no doubt. I mean, so we uh, we went out in free agency and we added three guys to, to the guys that we had, and we feel very strongly that, uh, that we can compete. Okay. All right. That's good for me. Thank you all.